Those are two names that get circled on everybody's lineup, knowing that those are two big hitters. And we are underway in Tallahassee. Allison Royalty gets the start. That one went inside. 2-2. Two -two. Gets past Flaherty. And Wallace, who runs really well, gets to third easily. So after the first two were retired on ground balls, a walk, and now a single. They're trying to get somebody home. And that'll do it. Walsh. Get it's into left field, and then the throw gets away in the infield. Florida is able to plate two. So two runs in now for Ava Brown, who does some pitching and also playing first base tonight. That's caught in the sun by Kerr. Mudge goes after the first pitch. Kistler fighting the sun, looks up, and it's off the glove. Mudge running hard all the way, gets into third, standing up. Gets a hold of it and sends it towards the fire trucks. They threw to her, and on a 3-1 pitch, Beecham made him pay. Well, Pam, you asked, would you throw to Beecham? No. The answer is no. Why would you throw to Beecham when you know you've got two bases available? They are on pace to have the best offensive numbers in Florida history. A very subtle hit by pitch. Williams gets down the bunt. Royalty has one play, and it's dropped over there at first base by Ross. So everybody's safe. Position to score again. The run is on the corners, and that is off the glove of Flaherty. What is going on as the run scores? 3-1. Took a little off of it and walked her. 3-1. Hits it to Ross, who doesn't throw home. Instead, tags Wallace for the second out, but it allowed Williams to score. Erickson pops it up. Chance for Dak. Grabs it. Give her a couple of days of practice to swing. Coach Alameda said, oh, big strikeout. Sends that into right field. Kistler off the wall. And Ross, who runs like the wind, is going home. Should have stopped at third, but she's still able to slide in. 2-0. Oh. Mudge sends it into center. This should be, or left center, should be deep enough for Ross to score. Close play after the good throw by Otis, but Ross comes in on the RBI sack fly for Mudge. Beecham hits it over to Wallace. Low throw, handled nicely by Brown. On the field at the moment. Haley Harding takes a charge into that one and just clears the fence. Harding with the line drive, home run, ties it up. Kaylee Harding is a player who stepped into the offseason wanting to be more strategic. Bees that you cannot time it up. But that's a great way to do it, to be able to just push this one right back up the middle. And they've pushed the outfield over to the right side. Go count with Falby at first, and that gets over the glove of the shortstop Torres. Falby going to be sent home as the ball got all the way to the wall. Corby Otis delivers with another RBI. Hit to the right side of the infield to advance the runner. Flaherty had to get it out of her glove quickly for the first out. Has a single in this game. That one is going to go for a whole lot more. Erickson clears the fence with the first pitch she saw and that at back. their final home regular season game as they hope to host regionals. Two and they just continue to grind and get better through a season in her grad season. That hit Williams to load the bases. Eight of those runs unearned. Clarity can't get to it. Two more runs cross the plate. Hissler comes in. Kowalewski comes in. Fourth plate appearance. 
Throw down, not in time. Both runners move up. Otis down one and two. Takes it in the left field. It's tracked nicely by Mudge, but the tag from Williams comes in to score. Falvey goes over to third. Get on the nose. Grab in center by Kerr, who is back there. But that leads to another run with the second straight sacrifice fly. Up in the air, Flaherty grabs it for the final out. Beecham is so good at just driving the ball the other way. This time she's gonna try to leg it out and is safe. Torres draws the walk. People are just being careful with her. Right up the middle. Backhanded beautifully and turned the double play. 23 games and really making a statement. Five pitch walk for Edenfield. That one is set skyward and gone. Janai Kerr unloads for the two run homer. Lost Dak. She's not going oppo very often. She has that kind of power, power, speed, and the ability to capitalize on pivotal moments just like that. How that is about a bit, this, yeah. Jenny. Torres takes. Three straight walks. Flaherty into right field, but it is grabbed. Fourth. Florida State pitcher tonight is in the circle. Opposite way, off the wall. For Falby, who gets the one out double. Long fly ball, hits the top of the wall and goes over. Corby Otis with the two run home run that just got out of here. Corby Otis was the number one player in the portal versus top 25 teams. And when Coach Walton saw her in the portal, he knew he needed to have a conversation with her. And as soon as she stepped on campus, he realized that her goals aligned perfectly. He was certainly taking advantage of it. Now Bueno doesn't make the play. In the last inning. He doesn't waste any time. Swinging, long run, there's Mudge. That's Mudge being Mudge right there. Alameda told us really worked hard to get back onto the field. Got a nice swing on that. Wallace can't handle it. Net and fields aboard. Wallace couldn't handle the backhand. Edenfield's gonna stay at third as we await this ruling. Number nine at this at bat. Sales high. Bases are loaded for much. Right up the middle. Edenfield scores. Everybody else holds up. RBI single for Mudge, and here comes Beecham. 2-2. Two -two. And not handled by Williams. The inning continues. Two more runs come in for Florida State. And away from Erickson, and that allows Mudge to get down to third, and Beecham follows down to second. Put up all across the country. Harden! Are you kidding? Ties the game with a three-run shot. And this just goes to show you how you start a game is not always how you finish based on your behavior, your attitude, and your attack as you go throughout the game. Kaylee Harding's first at bat tonight was a strikeout. What has she done the rest of the way? She's got two jacks and maybe the most pivotal home run of the night that now ties up this ball game. Devin Flaherty just got hit by a pitch and that gives Edenfield a chance. Pops up, Wallace waits. We're going to the eighth. And miss the fireworks. 
Ava Brown sends one out, but Mudge was all over it for the first out of the eight. Beecham, three up, three down. The first time all night that's happened for Florida. Fisted, caught by Wallace. One, two, three inning for Rothrock. Second strikeout for Gooden. Fall B, gone. Kendra Falby, the leadoff hitter, has been ridiculous tonight. The solo home run puts him back on top. That is her fifth hit of the evening. Takes it high. And the home run followed by a walk. Break it tonight. Right through the 5-6 hole. And running all the way and getting to third. Good base running by Otis. Otis has great wheels. I mean, she's got 12. Stolen bases on the year. A couple of hits, including a two-run home run back in the fourth inning. And there's the stolen base. As Wallace goes down to second. No, many coaches do not use it. They actually try to go right at a hitter, but no. She didn't swing. It was inside and forced in a run. Beecham. Steps on the bag and then airmails it. Good job by Ross over there at first to get on the bag and end the inning with the double play. Trying to walk out of here with a win. Much gloved. Hit right by Kalabuski. Done an error in the seventh. Short center field. Pops in for a one out single. She has a 2 0. Stings it into center. Hunted down and then the throw over the first and they got Beecham to double her off and end the game. And Florida in the highest scoring game in the history of this rivalry. First win uh, since 2021.